Yama Legends, it is after 3 o'clock on a Friday afternoon, which means it's camping time, baby. I know it's been a couple weeks, but everyday life just gets in the way, I guess, and I've got to prioritise that, unfortunately. But I've another hip camp place. Uh, it's called Mushroom Valley Eco Camp. It's actually really common in this area for a festival to go to, so I think that's what it's usually used for. Um, like maybe once or twice a year, but other than that, it's a camping ground. Um, so I'm pretty keen to go check that out because I heard some good things about it. Solo overnight trip, let's go. I've also got a secret package here for the Mimi Chance in the comments or whatever to take a guess of what it might be. <laughs> Random package, see if you can figure out what it is. I hope we get to use it at this uh, camp. And as already know, we got the new 65 litre King's Fridge, baby. Yo! Alright, we've got a new addition to the camp. Lithium dual battery system. It's not something I keep in the car, it's just something I take in and out. Camping adventures, I reckon. Um, got the battery box for it. It's just so convenient, man. Like, turn it on, check your voltage, what are we running? 13 volts. Get your plugs, Anderson plugs here. Um, it's got your cigarette socket over here, as well as USBs. I mean, you can't complain, right? You don't just want a battery and just use it and run it dead. It's not how it works. So I've got myself a solar blanket um, to keep it charged up. There's also a solar regulator in there to convert the energy from the sun, basically, to the battery to make it suit the battery. What else I got that I'm not going to take with me is a um, full, just random pack of recovery gears. It's got snap strap, shovel, um, winch protector, all these sort of jazz in there. So it's probably something I won't take on this trip, but definitely want to go forward driving in the future. Yeah, that's just a couple of new things I've got. You know what I usually take? My swag, chair, yada, 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 cooking gear. So, um, let's do it, baby. Right, all packed, ready to go. I remembered a couple extra things that I've always wanted to bring as well. Well, it's pretty normal to bring, but um, like a towel and a pillow, because, man, a whole night's sleep can change with a pillow. <laughs> Well don't I feel like an absolute idiot. I was sitting at the front of the gate and then two other cars pulled up. I was waiting there for like 10 minutes because I didn't know how to get in through this gate. And I thought it was all locked up. But um, then this you know lady came up, she's like, oh have you, you know, what are you doing? You waiting for him? You ringing him? I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, contacted him but they haven't got through to me. And then they drive off, they're sick of waiting around and I just walk up to the gate and realise it's dummy locked. Uh, whoops. Epic little um, little property. I mean, it's not my ideal camping sort of vibe. I thought it was on a creek or a valley or something. But got this little camping space here. We just straight away plug the fridge in to the battery, keep the beers and the food cold. What I'm going to do, I'm going to run the um, Anderson plug to my solar blanket under the car. And while we still got this afternoon sun, it's late afternoon now gonna lay him here just to keep it topped up. Oh yeah. I've got the solar blanket. This is a little regulator which changes the energy that's coming from this or the voltage that's coming from this blanket. Changes it here, converts it so it's 12 volt into the battery. That's what I believe. I've probably said that all wrong and rip into me for that. I might cook up a feed now and um, yeah, come over to the kitchen. Hello, welcome to Cover's Kitchen. As you can see, things are off to a great start. This is what's on the menu half price pork kebabs. I am seriously <laughs> dealing with these mosquitoes very well. <laughs> well, yeah, that'll sort me out for a bit. Right. It's the best stuff in the world. Sit around for a little bit, have a chill, but I'm getting freaking mauled, man. Like, I'm at that point already, and it's been maybe an hour. I'm at that point where I'm like, holy, can I put up with this for that long? So, 
We'll see. We'll see. It would be pretty weird if I just packed all this shit up right now after I just said it all. But we'll see. Right here, going for a little bit of an adventure. Oh, actually, I'll go get a fresh drink. Just, I'm just obsessed with this whole fridge battery setup thing and how easy it is. Look at that. So basically what I was saying was, uh, I'm going to go for a little adventure. The sun's definitely dead around here too. As it just stinks. I could literally just reach up and grab that. I don't know about that. And this electric wire. It's actually quite clear. It's quite nice, but it's not proper stagnant. There's little, little floaties up there. Oh, I'm getting eaten alive, by the way. Swinging some steps, some clothes over there. Whole other camping spot over there. I don't even know if that's a part of this part. I don't think it is, actually. Well, to be fair, it's pretty slack, eh? Hey? I'm more of a camper that, that likes doing shit while they're camping, you know? Hey, good this. Little crackers bring me down some firewood. Thought I might as well get into it. There's a fair bit of it. Whole crate. There's 20 bucks, I mean. You want a whole night's worth, don't you? So, we'll just stack this up. Oh, that was great. That was perfect. How beautiful is this sunset going to be? I made a little change, and since the sun's down, I put my battery up on the back with the fridge. Just, um, you got to keep it out of the sun, I'm pretty sure, so. I thought I'd do that. Oh, I put it the wrong way around. That weird time in the afternoon, I'm already feeling a bit sleepy. Maybe because I've had too many rings, but I um I just feel like laying down and going to bed right now, to be fair. But uh we'll see what that night has in store for us. I'll probably have to cook dinner later on. And I'm still getting freaking eaten a lot. Like there's just shit calling on me 24-7. It's pretty cool afternoon. At home, I'm in I'm in this terrible habit where I watch TV every time and I'll fall asleep to noise. And camping, obviously, you just fall asleep to whatever noise is going on around you. We'll see how we go tonight. I might try to keep you guys a bit more updated throughout the night because I struggle, like struggle, struggle. Um, usually I go to bed real early too when I camp, like 7.30, something just after the sun's gone down. This is about the perfect setup for right now, for bedtime. So I've had like the, the battery in the fridge up on the back of the U, over near the side of the car, but right now, Tonight, best case scenario, with the battery there, I can have the fridge sitting in the car, so if it rains, we're all good, and I can leave the door open and give it a bit of ventilation, as well as the um, awning is going to save it from any rain or anything, and then battery there for my phone charger, going to bed, then my sleeping problem solved, because I can watch a movie. Well, it is quarter to seven right now. And I feel like I'm a bit. Good morning to you, buddy. It's freezing. I know my head probably looks like it's stood on pie at the moment, but I actually had an incredibly good sleep. And I put it down to the pillow thing. Pillow makes all the difference. Probably cook a feed this morning. Um, pack up the camp and I reckon we do some fishing today. Let's do it. Radio camp's packed up, fires out. Packed the swag and then that away. Just gotta put the awning up. I'm gonna cook brekkie first, you got bacon, eggs. These would definitely be turned into scrambled eggs. Right, she's not much, but she's not as sweet as brekkie. Doesn't taste like paint, so I think I'm not gonna die. So she's like scrambled eggs and bacon, baby. After this, pretty much pack up the whole campsite here. Duck home real quick. Grab a fishing rod. I'll go for a flick, eh? Let's start again and I'll do the intro for you. Right, eh? On now? Yep. Yo, what they do is your boy Polly beat, but you already knew. <laughs> Let's start the day, eh? Today we're just gonna go do some fishing. Come along to the journey. Right, eh? Now we're here now. This is uh, Sandy Creek. So if you look <laughs> it's at Alligator me, Creek. <laughs> Oh, we can cut that off now. <laughs> That's windy.
Body oak crackers, that's a wrap. I'm currently zero for three on the fishing trips. Got absolutely nothing, but I was blowing a gale, so I just sort of threw a tail in on it. But um, yeah, thanks for coming along. If you're liking this sort of stuff, subscribe, like, all, this, all that sort of good stuff. Uh, I'm trying to get a bit more creative, more content, so we'll see what else the future holds. See you on the next one.